It's our favorite time of the week again. Time for hashtag Rise and Cues, where we get to answer your questions. All right, Sagar, what's up first? All right, number one, let's throw it up there on the screen. What do you think will happen to the Democratic Party if they lose again? Do you think they'll at least try to show <laughs> that they care about the left, or do they play the same trick in 2024? What do you think? Oh, Russell? I would love to imagine that they would learn, that yeah. they would reckon with their failures yeah, and say, no, that's not going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Not, not, not whatsoever. They'll blame sexism and racism. Correct. They'll blame Russia. Correct. They'll blame the left, yes. even though right now what they're doing is they're like pretending that there's unity and invisibilizing any sort of dissent on the left. Right. That's the strategy now. But don't you worry. If they lose in the fall, it will be your fault oh, yeah. for whatever reason. They'll figure I'm, it out. I'm sure they're going to come after you, too. And, and me, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it will uh, be my fault personally. I'll yes, be the new Susan that's right. Sarandon. That's right. Well, we'd be happy about that. Okay. All right. Considering the extreme awkwardness of the DNC in this virtual format, Ooh. will the RNC self-correct saga before next huh. week, or will it be equally as cringe? Not just equally, my friend. Mm. It will be more so, knowing Indeed. many of the people who are involved Indeed. in this thing together. Uh, yeah, it's going to be cringe. It's going to be bad. I did read a report that Trump has been watching this thing religiously and calling people and being like, we got to make sure we don't do that. Don't do we that. We got to make sure we don't do that. I will say, well, see, I don't know. Maybe it won't be as cringe. We won't have Billy Porter um, in his like interpretive dance and <laughs> skills. So crazy. I can't believe uh, that We happened. won't have cringe celebrities, not because we don't want them, but because we don't have any. Uh, <laughs> no, us. your celebrities are yeah. even more cringe. Oh, yeah. Like Clint Eastwood or Scott Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Bayo is the one who always cracks me up. <laughs> uh, or who's -list John like Voight? Scott Bayo. Right? There are people who are like 90 years old. Okay. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I digress. I, should, I mean, John Voight is, is a good. Guy. Okay, we can we can say yeah. contrarian perspective. Yeah. Trump does know TV. That's true. He does know, but I mean, we'll but see. so he. I think he would know how to do some things that might be interesting. But execution, I think it's fair to say, has been a pretty consistent problem throughout the administration. So uh, I do think the speech from the South Lawn will look good. I mean, you know, the White House, it's great to be president. Like, it's great to have the White House as a background. I think that the whole stage and all the things that they're making up there. But it's going to be nothing like 2016. And there's just, I mean, we've covered conventions in the past. There's just energy from the in-person mm, and from the yeah. drama and from the booing and from the side events where, like, people go and speak and yeah. people and there's, like, people outside and they're crazy and there's protesters. And it's just that without that, there's just something missing in America. Well, and there's only a few. The Democratic Party at least has a few truly skilled orators. Mm -hmm. You know, Bill Clinton, once upon That's a time. Right. Obama, obviously. Um and Bernie sometimes. I mean, they've got at least a few people yeah. who, like, can do a thing. Mm. Republicans are lacking even in that. Trump will be captivating if he wants. If he sticks to, if he's true to himself, he'll be captivating. If he reads just straight off a prompter, he's always so boring. Stilted. Whenever yeah. he does. Pence is fine. I mean, Pence is Pence. But in terms of the rising stars that will be featured, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, and Christy Nome, Joni Ernst, that's going to be a complete dud. Mm. So that's going to be awful. Uh, don't worry. We're going to be all over it here. So you're going to miss out on <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah. It's, Indeed. It's all right. What's the last one? If y'all were able to speak at each, respect to the y'all, if y'all were able to speak at each respective convention, only given 60 seconds, shout out to AOC, <laughs> what would you talk about? What do you think, Crystal? I mean, I think in a world where they would let me speak at the DNC, mm -hmm. I think it's really simple. People should have health care. They should have a job. They should have a place to live. So that's it. I mean, Medicare for all, a UBI during the pandemic, um, job creation, and cancel the rent. That's what I talk about. Yeah, I would. I would actually take a different turn. I, if they were stupid enough to let me do it, I would actually call out the party and I would call out the leaders and many of the people who were there, and I would tell the voters exactly what I tell people here all the time. And anytime I get a national platform, what I try to do, which is that. The people here who are paying for this stage, who take your money, who purport to represent you, do not care about you. Stop electing them. Stop giving them money. Stop doing anything with them because they hate you. They truly do. I and maybe that's a deeply nihilistic like way to go out, but I've never been more convinced of it than right now. I and have a feeling neither of us are going to get yeah, our chance look, to deliver either happen. of those messages. But if I could, <laughs> I like the idea that's of it, what though. I would say. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll have more content for you later.